Ciao. Ciao. And today I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this half up, half down, kinky, blowout, yakky look. I think it's so cute, y'all. I literally would be fooled if I saw someone walking out in public with this hair because this looks like it's all mine. I mean, it kind of is because I purchased the hair, so it is mine, but you know what I mean. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how I style this look. This hair was sent to me by Cutie Pie Tresses, and I will be using their kinky blowout clip-ins to achieve this look. Cutie Pie Tresses has all types of natural textured hair patterns and things for natural hair sisters. So check them out if you are interested. Um, I do have a discount code for free shipping. So it's going to be Crystal OG dash FS. I believe this hair is in 12 inches, um, you know, long, literally in general. Um, as you can see, it goes down to about here, uh, maybe like bra length. And of course the ponytail which is just kind of where it is. Um, I really like this hair. It's very lightweight. I've worn it like multiple times. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have been sporting this hair for a little minute. But I am ready to spill the beans um, of this hair and just basically how I achieved it. Um, it wasn't hard at all. So if you're like a beginner at this and you're like, well, I don't know how to do this. Trust me, you got this girl. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this video. So this hair was sent to me by Cutie Pie Tresses in this really cute bag. And I would suggest using freshly washed or recently washed hair to do this style. I'm gonna go ahead and take the hair out so you guys can see what it's looking like. And as you can see, it is wonderful. It has a great texture. I'm gonna go ahead and cut these rubber bands off and I'm going to moisturize my hair with some leave-in conditioner. After that, I'm going to go ahead and take my Bio Silk Heat Protectant and I'm just going to rub that throughout my whole head because it's really important, guys. Heat damage is not cute. So now I'm going to go ahead and start blow drying my whole head out, going through it over and over and over again just to make sure that I at least get the most length retention that I can possibly get. Of course, it's probably not the straightest as a 4C person, but it works and gets the job done. So here we have it. Now I look like a troll. This is exactly what I pictured in my head when I looked like this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just divide. Hmm, divide, so African of me. I'm just going to go ahead and divide the back and I'm just going to put the rest up. I'm just gonna put a ponytail on the top just so I know what I'm doing. So after I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting or dividing up the back. Y'all, I'm so African. So I'm gonna start dividing up the back and I'm just going to um, begin braiding. I'm going to braid and I'm going to connect these braids to the second row. So I'm gonna continue corn rowing into the second row from the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the third row. I'm going to go ahead and begin the clip-in process. So I'm going to be taking my clip-ins based on the length and I'm going to be matching them with the length of my braids. I did end up cutting some to make them fit perfectly so feel free to cut if you need to. And once you get the hang of it, it's really not hard. It really just is learning and figuring out what tracks and what clip-ins fit on which part of the hair. So after this, I'm gonna go ahead and take my leave out and add a clip-in in between it because I want this to be full in the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some leave out out and add some clip-in underneath it. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and just comb that through and just kind of blend it together. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take some heat and just kind of brush it all in. As you can see, it actually looks like really good. <laughs> like really, really good. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and take out some leave out here and I'm gonna take out just enough to cover up the tracks behind it. This is very important. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and just twist and put this in a little bun on the side. So now I'm just gonna make a circle in the middle of my head to begin the first clip-in process. So it really doesn't matter how cute the middle clip-ins are because obviously no one's gonna see it. So really your goal is just to make sure it's secure and firm and that it does not fall out, okay? Okay. After that, you can go ahead and begin on the next row. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a ponytail just so it can get out of the way. I'm gonna continue in the same pattern of just clipping it down and putting it in a ponytail to help it get out of the way some. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my clip in behind my leave out. As you can see, it's really simple. Comb in, push down, comb in, adjust, comb in, push down, push down, well, mm, clip. <laughs> push down and then I'm gonna go ahead and comb in again and push down. So I look a little crazy, but it's okay because we're gonna be cute real quick, real soon. I'm gonna go ahead and take out my leave out like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this together. I'm first going to go ahead and work on my edges using got to be glue. And y'all, I don't know why I put this on my toothbrush like it was toothpaste. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my edges. This literally is an art, okay? You need time, you need patience, and you just need to make sure they're on fleek because this is really the essence of the style, cute edges, okay? So after sculpting your edges, you're going to go ahead and add some got to be glue to the base of your hair. You're going to take your hard comb after that and you're just gonna brush down and make sure that it's all blended in evenly and that you're making sure that your hair is sleeking backwards. So after brushing the hair, you're gonna go ahead and grab the hair in a pretty tight ponytail, but please do not hurt yourself. Just do it to the point where at least you're comfortable. And I'm gonna take my ponytail band and I'm going to go ahead and loop it around two times. After this, I'm just gonna go ahead and work on my edges again. Ryan so now I'm gonna go ahead and spray some hairspray on there. Make sure it's all good. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap my hair with anything honestly that's pretty silky or just pretty lightweight just to kind of give my hair air to breathe and dry so after about 30 to 40 minutes i'm going to go ahead and unravel and this is what we are working with i think it came out looking really really good so i'm i'm pleased i'm going to go ahead and just run through again with my blow dryer on hot just to kind of set the hair again make sure my hair is blending and behaving because 4 here plays all day. And there we have it. All right, so that basically wraps up that look, y'all. I love this hairstyle so much. It's very, very natural. It's very, very me. Um, and I really love this high ponytail look going on right here. Um, who would have known that got to be glue could do this, okay? But anyways, my code for free shipping is going to be Crystal OG dash F S OG is my maiden name. If y'all are like, who that? Who is OG? But it's going to be in my description bar below. So you can always check it out there. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
and comment below what your thoughts are about this style. Do you like it? Would you try it? Have you tried it? Is this a different method than you would try or etc. Just comment below and let me know your thoughts. Um, and also, if you are new here and you are like, oh my gosh, sis is popping, sis slays, I need to be in the loop, okay? Hi, you can subscribe for free. Make sure you turn your notification bell on so that you can be alerted when a new video goes up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.